you know, Bobby, personally speaking, when I, uh, I mean, saw your class of 83 and Ashram again, uh, I was, I mean, literally almost immediately taken back to uh, the old days and the old films that you were part of. Uh, the barrett tone that you had uh, in, 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 in the previous films kind of came out and kind of actually transported me to that era. So, uh, you know, one particular question that I have perhaps is, um, I mean, when today you look back in retrospect, uh, what is that one thing you feel you must have done perhaps that uh, because of which, uh, I mean, the fact that you didn't do it uh, didn't actually put you in the limelight like the others, I mean, your contemporaries. See, the thing is, when I joined the industry, times were changing. The industry was the way it was approaching work was changing. PR was becoming a part and parcel of life. And I was not used to all that because my dad didn't come from the time where he didn't have PR, he didn't have anything, you know, uh, people, there were not too many actors in the industry. And even though he had to struggle a lot to get work, but the mm -hmm. competition was kept increasing. PR was becoming important because the world started moving towards the split in a, in a, in the thing where they wanted to be told about actors instead of finding out for themselves. And mm -hmm. at the same time, I always, when I started my career, I was like, I'm so happy. This actor is doing so well. This guy is so well. I'm doing well. We all are happy. But I didn't realize that the amount of people coming into the industry was increasing and they all wanted work. And uh, they started going to the offices to look for work. At that point, people used to come to you. And you did your PR to make yourself sound even bigger than what you are, was becoming a part of your lifestyle as an actor. So uh, I didn't move with time at that point. I didn't realize that. So things slowed down for me. And mm -hmm. uh, I started blaming the world, pitting myself that, you know, no one cares about me. And that was mm -hmm. the most stupidest thing I did because this world, everybody has to care for themselves. You know, everybody has to work hard for themselves. <laughs> no one can work hard for you. So when I realized that, that's when everything changed for me, you know. So I had a great start. My middle career was not so happening. And now again, after 25 years, I'm so looking forward to the next 25 years of my life. And this time so I know I will try to make the least amount of mistakes as I made in my first 25 years. So, but you never know. You know, you learn from your mistakes. You'll always make mistakes. That's the, that's the way you, your profession is, you know. So. Absolutely.